Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And guys, today we're gonna cover the news because it's Tuesday, and we got some Halloween news. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the events, let's go into it. So featured summon all the previous Halloween characters are gonna be making a comeback. So Lilith, Dracula, as well, Demon Rain, Grimlord, Sakura, Lucius. White Witch Fina, Black Cat Lid, Illusionist Nicole, and Pirate Jake. And I guess say, guy, uh, guys, Pirate Jake is a TMR is uh, pretty good. So if you guys don't have him, uh, maybe if you get him, his TMR is actually not that bad. So uh, that's one thing. And uh, for me, technically, the only characters that I really, really want would be Demon Rain and Grimlord Sakura, because Grimlord Sakura is one crazy magic damage dealer. Uh, as a seven star so uh that for me is the only character that i would really run and uh demon rain is just because he's really really cool but other than that grimlord sakura is pretty much the only character i would want from here but uh yeah if you guys uh, want to spend some gems uh gems some lapis and uh tickets you guys can do so on this banner so right here uh spectacular step of seven step one is going to be a four thousand lapis so at nine plus two you're going to be guaranteed two four star uh crystals so that's pretty good. And uh, on step two and three, it's another four thousand. Same thing. You're going to be guaranteed uh, some uh, two star, Chris, uh, some four star crystals. And on step four, it's going to be five thousand lapis, eight plus two plus two plus two plus one. So you're going to be guaranteed a rainbow right here. Uh, now the real question is, do you guys want to pull for these characters? Uh, to be honest, guys, like I said, the only one that I think is really really good is going to be Grimlord Sakura which she can do crazy amounts of damage as a 7-star. So that, for me, is the only characters. I mean, Lilith is pretty cool. Uh, they're really, really good in the arena. But uh, for me, technically, the best characters you guys can get in this one is going to be this crazy little beast. So if you guys want to summon, go for it. If not, I would actually tell you guys to keep your stuff because uh, we're getting closer and closer to those uh, time-limited banners with uh, those uh, characters. So Trans Terra, well actually Terra should be coming really, really soon. Hopefully she's gonna be coming out really, really soon. So if you guys wanna keep your tickets, your gems, feel free to do so. Also, Featured Summon, we're gonna get Carton and Agadria. These are gonna be the new five star going into seven star for the Halloween characters. Uh, obviously these characters are all making a comeback right here. So let's see, it's gonna be 24,000 Lapis with a guaranteed rainbow on step three and you're going to be guaranteed either of the two units on step five and you guys can basically get their prism in the uh exchange shop so that's one thing you guys can do so it's 140 uh of the uh token sh uh, tokens to exchange in the shop for the prism of either one of the two characters now carton is a physical damage dealer so we're going to go over his things right here super trust master reward wild fang he heirloom so basically, attack 170. It's a fist weapon. Enables Wild Fang Claws boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons, which is pretty nice. It's Trust Master Ward, the Scarlet Moon. It's a piece of code. Attack 35, which is really nice. Defense 30. Enables Eternal Bloodlust. A boost attack when equipped with fist. Uh, I don't know the percentage of this. So we're going to see the percentage of this when it comes out on the data mine. Then his featured abilities. He has Full Moon Best Bestial. Barrage, deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy and deal damage to one enemy and power up with consecutive uses. Then Frenzied, Rampage, one use uh, one use every 11 turns, inflict Berserk status on the caster, deals damage to all enemies. Add chance of counterattacking when an ally receives a physical attack, enables triple claws for two turns. Activate one time regardless of equipment condition. Then Cursed, Bloodline, boost defense by 30%, boost physical damage against Reapers, and reduce physical damage taken when HP falls below a certain point. Uh, which is pretty nice, but uh, here's the thing, guys. We have plenty, plenty of physical damage dealers. And guess what? Heal is getting his uh, ability awakening, uh, awakening this month. And uh, he's going to be really, really strong since he's going to be... If it's like the JP version, he's going to be able to imbue the fire element the fire element to his weapon and also he's going to be able to uh, imbue the lightning element to his weapon and also he's going to be able to decrease fire and light uh, and lightning resistance by i think like 80 percent so that's one thing that guys physical damage dealers we have plenty of plenty of the character looks really really cool 
the sprite is beautiful, but should, should you guys pull for it? Unless you're a really big uh, collectioner in this game or collect whatever you collection, you do collection of characters in this game. You collect, sorry. If you collect characters in this game, then yes, go for it. But if not, if you're a free to play person or you spend a little bit of money, I would say don't go for it because it's not worth it. Then we get Godria, which is another uh, physical attacker. And uh, she's going to be able to support the party a little bit. Or Super Trust Master Reward, the GE-98 Photon Gun. So it's a gun. Attack 177, which is really, really strong. Two-handed weapon enables first aid knowledge. Uh, knowledge. So energi energizing shot and restorative shot. These words, they make it harder for me to read. So first aid, boost potency of healing items used in battle. All right. Energi energizing shot consume one ether turbo ether mega ether or energizing shot and its effect applies to all allies so that's not bad and uh restorative shot consume one potion high potion x potion y potion and restorative shot and its effect partially applied to all allies. so basically when you're going to be using one uh healing item or an item you're basically going to increase the potency and it's going to be given to every single person in the party so she can heal she can give some uh some MP back using potions and stuff like that, which is not bad, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, chance of getting this gun is going to be really hard since you're going to have to be pulling on this banner a lot. Or your luck is going to have to be out of this world to get this character like four times. Then her Trust Master Ward, the Photon Core Attack 40. It's an accessory. Enables Photon Core Boost Equipment Attack when a single weapon is equipped in both ends and boosts physical and magic damage against fairies and reapers. So this thing is probably going to be around 50% or else it would be really, really strong. So featured abilities, Photonize Elixir, consume one elixir and its effect applies to all allies, which is not that bad because it's going to be in her kit. Activate a, GEA, a G98 Photon Cartridge. One use every five turns, boost attack and physical damage against fairies and reapers for self, enables Photonized Elixir for one use and Quantum Charge for Caster. So uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, she's going to be able to quad, quad cast with this, which is going to be not that bad. Then the Seven Keeper of Time boost attack by and spirit by 30%. A attack by 40% when equipped with a gun. Equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped both ends and physical damage against fairies and reapers and restore MP every single turn. So right here, you guys can see that uh, she doesn't like fairies and reapers at all. So she's going to be going Rampage on her. Uh, we're going to have to wait to see the data mine exactly on how she works and everything. Uh, she could be useful, but uh, we're going to have to see more on these characters, to be honest. But like I said, guys, physical damage dealers. Uh, if you have Esther, if you have Elena, which is hybrid damage dealer. If you have uh, Zeno of the Better Star, Axtar is still pretty good. Uh, if you have uh, Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth, which can imperil light resistance with crazy amounts of damage or dark resistance uh riku sora just got his uh awakens uh his ability awaken well they change his ability and uh the percentage the way he works and everything so uh yeah we have plenty of physical damage dealers and i think for me this could be a nice skip my opinion so guys let me know down below if you guys are going to be pulling for these ones then we're going to get the element uh the elemental battle grave exvius Ooh, that sounds scary. Good. Then we're going to fight the ghoul again. Appears in the diamond, dimensional vortex. I got to say, it looks really cool, though. Uh, here's some info for you, Kupo. Ghoul again is a fearsome foe that combines multiple light attacks to deal tremendous damage, Kupo. Make sure to exploit his weakness against the dark element and prepare your party's resistance against light before facing it in battle, Kupo. Be mindful of any elemental attacks you use against it, though. Well, woo, though, as it will respond in kind with elemental attacks of its own, with the exception of Dark Kupo. It's funny how this guy, basically it's Halloween and uh, he's weak to Dark. I would figure it would be the, uh, the you know, the opposite where he's a ghost, so he would deal Dark damage. But it's alright, it's alright. Then, uh, initial quest, you get the Wolf Claws replica. Attack 50, Dark Element, it's a two-handed weapon. The advanced quest, you get Hunted Blaster. I gotta say, the gun looks really cool, though. Uh, attack 50, Dark Element, two-handed weapon. Then the pro quest, you get the Dread, uh, Dread Reaper Sight. The Dreads Reaper Sight. Attack and magic, 30, Dark Element. So I guess that would be something for, like, Grimlord Sakura, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, that would be something for Grimwood Sakura, but it's really not that strong. Then the Elite Quest, you get a Rare Summon Ticket. Legendary Quest, you get a Rare Summon Ticket. Uh, you're going to be able to get a 5-star Select Summon Ticket. Now, here's one thing, all right? I was thinking about it. You know what would be really cool, Gumi and uh, Square Enix, whatever. Whoever's taking care of this game. Now, here's the thing. Now, 5-star Select Summon Tickets are going to get, you know... You won't be able to use them in the future banners that are going to be coming out, like... Uh, uh, what can I say? Like uh, Warrior of Light, uh, Paladin Cecil, all these future CG units that are going to be coming out slowly, that they're going to be time limited. Uh, you won't be able to use your 5 star select summon tickets. So here's one thing you guys should do. You know, for every step up that you do, you should be given a 5 star select summon ticket. So let's say we go back to the step up summon. Well, if you do it five times, well, you get five, five, five star select summon ticket. That would be really nice. Because you're still spending Lapis, you're still spending stuff. And that would be a cool way for, you know, your player base to get a little bit more of the 5-star that they want. Huh? Gumi, how about that one? That's not bad. You guys should think about that. All right, then the... the uh, let's go Let's go back on track. Perform event summons with the event coins. So you guys will be getting coins and you're going to be able to summon with those coins. And you're going to be able to get uh, the recipes to create the time limited equipment so we're gonna be uh, getting all of these things so right here this is all a set so if you guys all have these three things on one character well you're gonna get the uh, extra bonus for the set which right here the uh, charcoal relic attack and magic five defense spirit plus one boost life resistance by five percent and resistance to blind and disease by ten percent if you have with the charcoal set Boost defense and, SP and SPR by 5% would equip with a charcoal hood. So basically, if you equip all of these things right here on one character, you're going to be getting a nice little boost. Now, is it worth it? Maybe. If you guys are a newer base player, uh, these things can be pretty, pretty good for you. If you're an older player already, if it's your, fourth, uh, your third year playing or your second year, chances are you won't need these things, but you can still craft them if you do feel to. If you do feel... Like you want to do it. It's still early in the morning for me. Yeah, terrible. Uh, the character bonuses. You're going to get these characters. They're all going to be bonus. And I find uh, it sucks a little bit that the old Halloween characters are not a bonus unit. As I mean, the Demon Rain, Dracula Swell, Grimlord Sakura, Lucius Lulit. But nonetheless, they still use the 4 star and uh, the 3 star right here. Which is not that bad. Then, we're going to move on to the notices. Uh, the exchange shop, so you guys will be able to exchange those little tokens, purple tokens, you get from the Step Up Summon. Uh, same thing with the exchange shop on the Spooktacular, where all the older 5-star units are. Then, Spooktacular, Logan bonus. We're going to be getting so tokens, some tokens, so tokens, some tokens, and you guys are going to be able to exchange those tokens in a shop. And uh, introducing that classic, classic five star ticket where you get four of them and you get a chance to summon a 20% featured wow it's not even 30% it's 20% on that one disappointed i'm disappointed so basically if you do the step up uh, i think it's well let's go here let's go here real quick i want to make sure what i'm saying is right if you do the step up it's uh one two three yeah so you basically have to do a whole lap of the step up and the first step so you have to waste technically uh, 28,000 Lapis. So 28,000 Lapis, you get four of those little ticks right here and it gives you a chance, a 20% chance to summon one of those two units. So it's not even a 30% chance or a 50% chance. Damn, Gumi, you got to fix these things seriously because it's not cool for your player base. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Then the maintenance, like always, Wednesday night all the way up to Thursday morning. So yeah, this is what we're having for this week guys so halloween let me know if you're excited uh to be honest i don't think i'm gonna be summoning i might use some tickets like here and there because i want to try to get my hands on grim lord sakura but for the rest yeah that's uh that's what i have to say so guys like always let me know down below if you're gonna be summoning uh if you're excited for this week's halloween event hopefully we're gonna be getting some better stuff for the second week or the the week of halloween and uh, yeah, guys, like always, leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.